Well, interesting. This is Wednesday, and I do have a joke up for today. But I was sitting here preparing a grocery list. Don't have anything else written down, so it's all coming off cuff. The cell phone went beep beep, and I looked to see if it was something important or not. I've got to figure out how to disarm all the unimportant beeps and only for people that I want messaging me like my kids to, to run to the phone and look. I'm not a younger generation person that lives with their phone in their face all the time. I'm just not. I don't want to be. But the purpose of this is it got me all riled up what I saw. I saw it said that they are going to impeach President Trump a second time. And a lot of people don't even know what impeachment is. They think it means removed from the office. No. Impeachment means that someone says you're not fit for the office and they try to prove it. If they can prove it, then you have been impeached and the suggestion is for you to resign or be removed from office. Well, nothing's much been done. He, he was impeached and kind of, like, he's not really fit to do this, you know. He might be a good TV show host, but he's just not, this is not your bag, baby. And now they're going to do that again. And if they figure that he is not suitable this time, he will not receive a pension. He will not receive uh, security the rest of his life. He will not receive all these goodies, goodie bag full of perks that politicians and especially presidents get after leaving office. Which I think after this past week, you know, if you're going to do something really horrible, why should you expect to receive favors? I guess people are so into themselves that they don't realize what they're doing to the world around them. Maybe he doesn't have that much time on the earth left. And he doesn't care, or he doesn't care about his children or grandchildren. I don't know. And a lot of the congressmen and people that were kissing his ass before, actually licking his ass before, that's a leccanculo in Italian. A lot of the leccanculos in politics decided, this is not good. No telling what's going to happen in the last so many days. This is not good. It's not good for me. Here I thought I was furthering my political agenda. It's not working. Is it good for me as a person? No. Is it good for my family, my wife, my children, my grandchildren, my mom, my dad, people I love? No, it's not. And the dogs are barking because there's a little boy riding his bicycle outside. So they have come to the conclusion that they really would rather do what they were put there to do. How about that? That's what I was so dumbfounded, excited, agitated about. And um, I just want to say I'm very proud of people that realize that they've said or done stupid things and want to better society. Analogy time. When I was a kid, we had this huge, huge, <laughs> a huge elm tree in our backyard. It shaded all the house and most of the yard. A disease called Dutch elm disease came through the country and killed the majority of elm, Dutch elm trees. There's other types of elm trees, but the Dutch elm tree, it killed it. Now, there were two things we could have done. We could have just let it be, see what happened, or remove it because of the danger that it posed and was always could fall over on the house and crush a house or fall on someone and hurt them, kill them, and or spread the fungus-type diseases to other plants in the yard. So it had to be removed for the good of the homestead let's say and that's that's what's going on here politically you can plant other things 
you can keep what you have around it thriving but something like that just had to be done um i vote for the person that i think will do the job i look at their track record if they don't i do my best guessing as to their education level and their their understanding of things i've made mistakes i admit it and i don't work for them again <laughs> But people think, oh, you're a snowflake, you're a Democrat, you're a this, you're a that. Not really. Not really. If I have to vote a party to work the election polls, I have to put one down, so I do. But I'm not really that. I vote for common sense and uh, things to improve society. If you're going to live in society, you have to co coincide. You have to, to get along. Actually, I'm in the birthday party because they have cake. Ooh, 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 ooh.